This part of my life is called peace. Assalamu alaikum from Mecca and Mukarramah. I have already technically done my Umrah, but for some reason I decided not to record any of it. As you can tell, Barber, Barber really did me, did me dirty, but it's okay. It's for the sake of Allah. I didn't go completely bald because I've already done it once, and I don't think I can mentally handle having to wear a kufi again for eight months, so I just shortened it this time. We're gonna go again, inshallah. We're gonna take you guys along, and then tonight we're leaving for Medina, so that should be a lot of fun to record as well. Let's go. The streets of Mecca are always alive. It is three in the morning, and all the shops are still open. There's people outside going to do Umrah. It's really nice to see. One beautiful thing that you notice in Mecca is that there are so many different people from different cultures all around the world, but they're all here for the same exact purpose, to complete their Umrah, to worship their Lord. There is nothing as pure and as strong as Islam that can unite so many different people from across the world. So we are back at our hotel room, we showered, changed, and we're about to go have breakfast right now and then head to Medina. Do you guys ever buy like a Thel Grave and it looks really good in the shop when you're buying it? And then you go home and try it on. <laughs> it's just, it's not hitting the same. I don't know about this stuff. It looked really cool when I got it. Now I'm just, yeah, I don't know. And in Mecca, there's no return policy either. <laughs> you buy it, you're stuck with it. There's no return it. first masjid to be built in Islam and it is sunnah before visiting Medina to stop in Masjid Qubat and pray to Raqqa's and doing so grants you the same reward as performing Umrah. So we're gonna pray our two Raqqa's and head over to Medina Al-Munawwara inshallah. So we just arrived at Masjid and Nabawi. Uh, the event for Maghrib was like five minutes ago, so we just made it in time for Salah. 
completely, completely different vibe than Mecca. I, I love it here, I can't lie. I mean, off the bat, Medina is just so much more calm and peaceful. People are sitting down before Aisha, just relaxing. I mean, in Mecca, you will not see kids playing soccer right outside of the masjid. It's just not possible. Um, now nah, the vibes here are amazing, alhamdulillah. So as you guys can see, a lot of people will come out here before Jum'ah and take a nap. And we are going to just join them because you have to come really early on Jum'ah to make sure you get a spot. So we still have about three hours. We're just gonna sit, read some Quran, make some dua. The entire masjid is absolutely packed with people for Joma. I don't think I've seen this many people in one place. And this is just outside. There's probably 10 times this amount of people inside the masjid, on the roof, neighboring the masjid. There's people outside as well. It's insane. <laughs> First bite. Wow. This is a good one. Life is short. One day is good, one day is bad. One day is for you, one day is against you. My brothers, my sisters, believe in Allah. If you have a relation with Allah, the good day is Alhamdulillah. The bad day is also Alhamdulillah. One thing, one thing we still haven't done is visit the Who's grave. Going down. I haven't done is visit the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then you'll die on the ground floor. If you've been to Medina, you know that in front of the masjid, they have the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abu Bakr Siddiq and Umar ibn Khattab, and you can go and send your salams and your salawat. That is what we're gonna go do right now. I woke up two hours before Fajr, so uh, there isn't much traffic, inshallah. And uh, yeah, let's go. السلام عليك يا أبا بكر الصديق السلام عليك يا عمر بن الخطاب. You know, if I if I even tried explaining what that experience is like, it wouldn't do it justice, man. It wouldn't. والله I made dua that every person watching would be given the opportunity to come and visit and send a salam to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. I mean, you're the the. The leader of this ummah, and he's five feet away from you. Uh, 
Our last order of business is obviously to buy some thobes. We're at a thobe shop right now and they have some really nice quality um, Maghribi thobes. But obviously the price is, we're about to bargain with them. So I'm really liking this sort of beige one over right here. And there's this baby blue one as well. And then this one right here is probably the nicest one that I've found so far. White and gold is just such a nice mix. Put it on. Yeah, I said. Sheikh <laughs> Minna. It actually doesn't look bad. <laughs> so I ended up getting very sick on our last day in Medina. Basically laid in bed all day and obviously didn't get to record anything. So video had to be ended a bit short, unfortunately, but it was still very memorable. It was a very fun experience. And inshallah, inshallah, all of you guys get to make Umrah, especially if you haven't gone yet. Thank you guys for watching another video. This year has been filled with just so much growth and I'm so thankful and very excited for 2024 because let's just say we have a lot planned and I think you guys are going to like what is coming inshallah. And Minna is going to come in and interrupt my video so I'm going to wait for her to leave before I continue. <laughs> That's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Wassalamualaikum.